we had legislation introduced in both the House and the Senate for our proposed Berryessa Snow Mountain National Conservation Area. Not only do we have legislation introduced, but it's also been endorsed by the state of California. And I am very proud to say that we have support from non-traditional stakeholders, specifically the Blue Ribbon Coalition, who is an off-road vehicle group, and six other off-road vehicle groups this year. We're very honored to um, be sent by the Conservation Lands Foundation to Washington, D.C. Both in um, early February, early March, we were um, able to personally meet uh, President Obama and asked for his authorization through the Antiquities Act to um, designate Fort Ord as a national monument. Um, what was amazing is that a year ago, August, was the first time we ever met someone from the Conservation Lands Foundation, had no idea what it was, had no idea of the possibility of a national monument. You know, by January, February, early March, we're in Washington, D.C., talking with senators and head of the Army and BLM and all sorts of folks, and on April 20th, 2012, um, the National Monument was designated, so it's been a, a wild year. I am the program director for Friends of Sloan out in Henderson, Nevada. Um, we have made history. I have been, become the first black program director for the Friends of Sloan. So <laughs> we also work with a program called the After School All-Stars. Um, it's a group dedicated to inner city youth who don't have the availability to go camping or hiking. And uh, we are taking them out for a camping field. 15 students are taking them out camping and hiking, showing them into our petroglyph site. We had an enormous success this winter when the BLM proposed a lease sale that is adjacent to the Gunnison Gorge National Conservation Area and the Needle Rock Wilderness Study Area. And um, with over 3,000 comment letters from our tiny little community, we were able to get the BLM to defer the lease sale until they can study it better and figure out how it would impact our local resources. I remember this vividly. Mid-June 2008, I'm, at, I'm a volunteer. I'm at Red Rock. I'm volunteering. I get a phone call or a message. Call someone named Betsy Buffington, and I'm thinking, is this a real name? And she explains that she is the employee for the National Conservation Lands Foundation. That was the original name. And she explained what the National Conservation Lands Foundation's mission was, to bring friends groups together. And I started crying because I thought, oh, I don't have to do this. <laughs> and been lucky enough to attend each and every rendezvous that the foundation has sponsored. And it is just phenomenal to see the enthusiasm grow the participation grow, the dedication to our conservation land system grow. I want to tick off a few things. You know, one of the things our executive director, Joe Newhoff, did this year is he co-chaired the Colorado Plateau Coalition. Um, we partner with several other organizations, and we just did a program with 600 kids from the Montrose area in the bottom of the Gunnison Gorge. We've got a fledgling program that we're starting here this coming month where we'll be taking on about 60 kids into Dominguez. And um, so we're really proud of those opportunities. We, we, with CLF's help, we hosted the first Wild and Scenic Film Festival in Montrose, uh, Colorado, that ever happened just uh, a couple months ago. Um, it's, it's just been an amazing year. I'm we've had a really great year. In the last year, we've hired an executive director, which is me, so of course I think that's great. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, we've also really built our organization. We've doubled our membership. We've um, septupled, if that's a word, times by seven, um, our number of volunteers for Public Lands Day and other volunteer events on the ground with BLM, which has been wonderful. Um, we've held two wildly successful events in Lewistown, Montana, which is a really small conservative town in the middle of nowhere in Montana. So that was great. Um, and by November 15th, we'll have raised $40,000. And what I'm really excited about this year is not only being the executive director, I've encouraged the board to take a look at um, our origins and where the organization began 12 years ago and reorient themselves with that and rededicate themselves to move forward. And with that, I was able to 
go to the BLM and work on a contract with them for the next five years for half a million dollars. And that is going to concentrate on conservation, education, specifically with the youth, so I'm really excited, as you know, about your discovery trunks, on events, and also for volunteer recruitment. I'm rep representing a um, future friends group, uh, partner group for Canyons of the Ancients National Monument and the Anasazi Heritage Center. Canyons of the Ancients National Monument is the center of the universe for the ancestral Pueblo world adja adjacent to that cradle of civilization over there in Utah. And uh, we are about a 175,000 acres of national conservation lands with incredible archeological ancestral Pueblo sites as well as uh, other uh, groups and uh, even historic groups there. And our second uh, accomplishment this year is to come here and to meet all of you guys and hopefully get some good ideas and share some good ideas and make some new friends. Thank you. Mm -hmm.